Okay, um, yeah, this is looking pretty good. Um, I think lighting wise, um, this is, to me, this is the kind of lighting you might have if the sun is kind of a little bit behind a cloud because you have pretty soft shadows and it's um, fairly evenly lit. Um, and I think, however, in contrast to that, if the sun's out, you'll have very sharp shadows and a lot of contrast between how bright the bright areas and how dark the shadows are. Um, and, it, you know, look at any reference of a sunlit day. So to me, it's sort of like, yeah, I mean, I see some clouds in the sky. There could be, the sun could be behind a cloud. I was also thinking, you know, you might want to consider um, adjusting your set or camera position or both or some of those rocks to reduce the amount of water in the frame because, you know, you can try using an ocean shader and just look up some tutorials on that um, to get some moving water. It's just, you know, time consuming to get it to look right and all that. But take a look at that um, and uh, have a play around with that if you want to keep that much water in the shot. Um, and then regarding the animation, I think it's generally looking pretty good. Um, one thing you could do is um, if the bucket is, um, if you parent the bucket to the handle and put the pivot point right there to have a little bit of rotation of the bucket. So like here, for example, when it's out at that angle, I imagine that there's a hinge here and so the bucket kind of swings down, you know, and especially there when he, a moment, like it's really out at an angle there and I, I wouldn't expect that to be like a stiff attachment, I'd expect that to be a hinge of some kind. So having that swinging would help. The other thing is to look out for your holds and make sure they're moving holds. So like here's, he complete, except for his arm, he's, his, this whole part of his body is completely frozen in there. And you need to get at least a little bit of movement, just a little small amount of movement to keep him alive. So look at the various holds that you have and make sure that he still has some movement in there. Um, if you have your blinks working, you should definitely add some blinks. Um, because that'll help bring him to life a little bit more as well. Uh, but yeah, generally this is looking really good.